Hey guys, I know I Zope here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to share with you guys some really cool lightweight modifications that you must try on your iPhone. These are going to be really cool, interesting. No jailbreaking will be required. They work on any version of iOS from iOS 14 on up. And they're really simple. Things like customizing your home screen with custom widgets, maybe a Memoji widget. Old operating systems running on your iPhone, very simply. Again, no jailbreak required. These really cool widgets that you see here, lock screen modifications and cool wallpapers and so much more so without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at really cool iphone mods that i think you should definitely try now the first thing i want to talk about is the lock screen because i have this really cool wallpaper here for the lock screen that highlights the oled display on the iphone with face id as you can see right here there's different colors going around the edges with this wallpaper but not only that this wallpaper actually brings your lock screen to life because it gives it sort of an animation when you first wake up your device there's light coming in from the bottom and light coming in from the top and let me go ahead and show you that here when i lock the device it'll gradually just bring the light into the wallpaper take a look at that see the bottom as well let's take a look at the bottom here when you first wake up your device the light comes in from the bottom all the way to the top so really cool wallpaper something simple but sort of gives your device uh, some customization for the lock screen and animations i'll link everything in the description you can choose from different colors of course you have different colors to choose from white black red orange green and then you have the rainbow effect color which is the one that i'm currently rocking on the lock screen so really cool animations plus it highlights the oled display on your iphone with different colors Pretty cool wallpaper and pretty cool custom modification for the lock screen. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is this custom widget here on the home screen. This is my Memoji, and you guys have been asking, and this is going to be courtesy of an application called Photo Widget. However, the application itself does not contain the Memoji. I'm going to show you how I created that myself. So what you want to do is you want to head on over into Messages. You want to go into your stickers here, and then you want to go to Edit Your Memoji, and then just choose the avatar that you want for your customized widget. Take a screenshot of that, just like so, and then you can head on back to Photo Widget. Links will be, of course, in the description. You wanna go ahead and choose Photos and create a brand new album. Once you do that, you can name it whatever you want, and then just simply confirm, and now add the photo or the screenshot that we just took, just like so. And now, just go ahead and crop it, like that, and just a matter of seconds, we'll have a custom Memoji widget on the home screen of the iPhone, just like so. So now we're ready. Let's go back. And once we go ahead and set up a widget here, you'll see that we'll now have a custom Memoji widget that we can set up here for the home screen of the iPhone. So let's go into edit mode here, add a widget. Let's find the application where it is right here, photo widget right there. Let's add the small widget, which is the one that we chose. Okay, click tap on that once click select an album, and then the one that we named me, that's the one that we just selected, click done, and that is how you get a custom Memoji widget on the home screen of your iPhone for a more personalized, customized look of your device. I think it's really cool, something very simple, but again, it gives your device more of a personal and customization look. So the next thing I wanna talk about is some of the battery widgets that I have on my home screen. You guys really ask about these ones here, and I have several. I have this one here that shows the battery, the memory, the brightness of the display, and you also have this storage that's left on your iPhone. And this one here, which is really super cool, and I like this one a lot because if you have a black wallpaper, the background sort of blends in, and this one shows you how much battery life is left depending on what you're doing on your iPhone. So the battery's at 29, that means we have 23 hours of playback for music, video will be five hours, and so on. Five hours for phone calls and two hours for gaming. So let me go ahead and show you the applications I'm currently using for that. So battery, widget, and smart battery. Both of these applications are linked in the description down below. Super cool, super useful applications, and I think you guys are gonna really enjoy these apps. And on top of that, they offer really cool widgets. Of course, you can select from a broad selection of customized widgets that you can choose from when you go to select your very own widget for the home screen of your iPhone. It's just really cool, something more personal that you can add to your home screen to make it look really awesome. Now, next, I want to talk about this iPod that you see here on the home screen of the iPhone. It looks pretty cool. If you're listening to music within Apple Music, it would actually show the album artwork inside of a classic iPod. And that is a widget courtesy of a Wiggy. And this one, of course, will be linked in the description down below. And once you launch the application, all you have to do is explore, go to the explore tab, and you'll find the widget right here is one of the newer ones on the bottom here for the larger selections right there it is. 
and right there it is classic uh, iPod classic right there and then iPod classic different versions so they have two versions of it you can choose whichever one you want and right there it is the creator and right there you can add any customizations by clicking on edit once you import it you import it to your device or to the actual app and then you can go to manage it and you can actually customize it even further so you can go ahead and click edit here remove the background which is what I did transparent background and then if you have a black wallpaper this will actually blend it in just like I have it on the home screen of my iPhone just like so it's pretty cool every time you're playing music on your iPhone it displays the actual album artwork directly within the iPod right there on the home screen of your iPhone it's a really cool widget and I think you guys are going to really enjoy that one more personalized customized look for your music directly on the home screen and last but not least I want to talk about old OS old OS is an app that allows you to run old versions of iOS directly on your iPhone again I know jailbreaking is required this one is more of a cool effect of application something that you may want to show off to your friends and say hey look I can do this on my iPhone you have a virtual home button right here you have the app store that's working you also have your music which is working as well you have your songs your albums and things like that in here pretty cool stuff happening uh, this project has been going on for quite some time actually I do have a separate video on this one but it's really nice to see that the iPhone 12 here can actually run the old OS inside of an emulator if you will there's a few things that are not working just yet like messages that's coming soon YouTube is coming soon as well this project is really cool I think it's something that you can show off and it's interesting to see again that's going to be old OS links for everything will be of course in the description and down below and these are some of the iPhone mods that I think you must try they're simple lightweight easy to do no jailbreaking it'll help your device get more of a personal customized look let me know what you think about this ones if you enjoy videos like this one don't forget to click that like button and I'll see you guys on the next one peace